Hello everyone, in just a couple of minutes we are going to have the reveal of the first ever Warcraft mobile game. Uh, I'm very excited to see what this is. I'm hoping for like a Clash of Clans style uh, kind of strategy based game that doesn't have a ton of microtransactions just to be able to play it. And I'm excited to see what happens. We know that we're not going to get a Warcraft Go or anything because that kind of like there was a rumor and then the rumor was that it was canceled anyways, so that's probably not going to happen. But we have about two minutes until the official reveal of the first ever Warcraft mobile game. Let's check it out. Here we go. Yeah. Give me that in real life, please. So cute. Is it an auto chest battle? I feel like Hearthstone already has that. rumble so is it like a like wild like the Hi, single lane I'm moba Disney. and i'm adam and today we have the honor of introducing you to warcraft, warcraft Arclight Arclight rumble. Rumble. so what is this game what is this game nah. <laughs> this is a mobile strategy fast-paced hero collector and villain collector and villain collector game that has a vast pve campaign it also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you oh, expect from Warcraft dope. games from Blizzard. We love games. We were super inspired by tower defense games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. Oh, I love it. It's I love that. It's joyful chaos. And we're aiming to bring our Blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Can't use chaos twice. <laughs> In basements of taverns all across Azeroth, a mysterious machine has been found. Is it new? Has it always been there? Powered by gnomish engineering and arc light. This machine has been generating famous and infamous battlegrounds for your entertainment. So when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. If there's a base for you to defend. If the base dies, your run is over. I love it. Also, there's I meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're going to come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also towers on the map for you to go capture that lets you have a forward position so you can assault the boss directly. There's also oh shinies that you can get. There's gold nodes and treasure chests to plunder. You got to get the shiny. Give me the shiny. Shiny. The more gold that you can get, the more chaos you can rain upon the field. <laughs> one of my favorite things about this game is that every mini has their own personality and every single one of them thinks they're the coolest. <laughs> and they're all wrong, except for Blackrock Pyromancer. Yes! Oh, hell yeah. In Warcraft Arclight oh, Rumble, it. we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. <laughs> There's also the Horde! the proud horde that will overpower your enemies. I love the, the character but models that they Black use. Rock to sear a hole in your enemy's defenses. Let's oh, that's throw so cool. down! There's of course the undead. Who can bring a skeleton oh, of troops best. to the battlefield. Rise. And beasts! We oh, that's a interesting. from the plains and jungles of Azeroth. 
With all of the chaos going on with the troops, we need somebody to lead this rabble. Leaders are a way to cater your strategy and build a specific play style that suits you. If you want to play siege units, go for Sneed. I'm down! Sneed has a trait called Sneed's Greed that makes all of your siege units grab extra gold. My yeah. personal favorite is Rend. <laughs> With his ability Dude, that's Black so in the cool. Sky, Black hand is in it makes this? all of your flying units one gold cheaper, so you can fill the air with chaos. <laughs> chaos. There are tons of strategies that you can assemble with this. There are over 60 minis for you to play with. But you don't need to have an understanding of Warcraft to be able to embrace the chaos. Yes! A sense of exploration and wonder should come across regardless. One of the 70 plus maps that we have for you to play all over Azeroth. <laughs> One of my favorite maps is going back to Stranglethorn, deep in the jungle, is oh, Gurubashi neat. Arena. Yeah. King Mukla is there with his Bananchucks and Bananluya. Oh, that's so cool. And there's a couple of apes in Ungro that have some banana arm wounds. We've got the Benini Gun by Ukluk. Ungro also has Look double sword Look at the, the meat wagon tossing the meat actually looks Tyrant really cool, of the too. Area and she comes stomping down, and you just have to take her down before she bites your base. Tasty base. There's always going to be unique challenges depending on each map. When it comes to maps that require you to be able to take charge of the high ground or combat massive cannon bombardment from a ship. There's so many ways that you can customize your minis using talent. I really like there the idea of like collecting them too and then being able to build directions. your own. Maya has really a really cool. awesome talent called Cloak of Shadows. Wherever you oh play her on the map, she will cast Smoke Bomb and stealth everything around her so you can make a mobile assault squad anywhere on the map. That's really cool. Just sneak right up to the boss and kill him. Warcraft! Warcraft! Arclight! Arclight! Rumble! Rumble! This game has so many ways to play very content it. every I single love day, the every single it's week. Great. You get to play it's a new a dungeon every week. We didn't talk about dungeons! We didn't talk about dungeons. You can play dungeon solo, or if you want to play co-op, oh, you that's can as cool. well. We didn't talk about co-op! We forgot to talk about co-op! Co-op, you can join a guild, you can play with your friends. You can join a guild and you can fight your friends? Fight, fight, fight. You can That's go play fun. raids with them. There's so many things go to do Go fight Anixia. We didn't talk about raids. You're just going to have to stay tuned for more information, aren't you? Close bid is coming to limited regions soon, so keep an eye on social media for more information. On behalf of the team, we are oh, so excited cool. for you guys to get your hands I on like this. I like how they did and that. And we really, really look forward to your feedback and input. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the joy. Enjoy the chaos. The chaos, it never ends. I think that looks really cute. Chaos, chaos, chaos. I'm excited chaos, for that, chaos, actually. Chaos, chaos, chaos. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely gonna pre-register for that. It's like the perfect, like, what I want for a mobile game for them. Very Clash of Clans, which is exactly what I wanted. And it looks like it's just gonna be fun and charming and have really unique looking characters. Jada looks amazing, Rom looks dope. They look really good. I really like the character models in this game too. Uh, definitely want to definitely want to check it out. I like that there's PVE and PVP in this game as well. So you can you don't have to just play other people if you want. You can also do like PVE and dungeons and raids. Fighting Anixia as little toy versions of characters sounds really cool. You get to collect all of these different heroes to play as. I don't know. I'm I'm actually kind of excited for it. I feel like a, any type of mobile game that gets released. It's either it's going to be a complete hit or miss, right? It's going to be either really cool or it's going to be terrible. Um, Hearthstone is is basically a mobile game, and that's fantastic. So I, I'm excited for it. Anyways, thank you guys, and uh, never give up, never surrender. Bye, everyone.